Why, why, why? How many times? How many times do they have to tell me that I'm lying when all I have to do is quote a source to prove my point? Muslims, do you have any idea what kind of unfathomable patience we have when we sit here all day long quoting sources to people who choose to remain in a state of ignorance? Why do we do it? Because we know that sometimes people change. We know that just because you refuse to listen to facts now doesn't mean that you'll always refuse to listen to facts. So we keep trying to help you, and you keep attacking us for it. Exhibit A. First of all, Muhammad never committed sex slavery. He didn't kill people who critiqued him, but some of his followers did. Also, those who say Muhammad was a pedophile and rapist he never had sex with any of his wives, but his main one. He even married an old lady to prove that he is okay to marry anyone. He never had sex with any of his wives except one. Muhammad was a great man who should be an example to a lot of people. Some of the things he did are outdated, like marrying a bunch of women. I'm just saying the things that we hear about Muhammad by stupid Islamophobists is 99% false. I'm not saying he didn't do one bad thing, but most of the stuff we hear from ignorant people is false. Now, in the video he's responding to, I presented somewhere between 25 and 30 facts about Muhammad. I can only assume that our friend responded to the ones he thought were most obviously wrong. So, let's go through his refutations and see what happens if we read Islam's most trusted sources. Muhammad never committed sex slavery. Sunan An Nasai 3411. It was narrated from Anas that the Messenger of Allah had a female slave with whom he had intercourse. And you're burnt. He didn't kill people who critiqued him. Ibn Ishaq, pages 550 to 551. Another was Abdullah ibn Qatal of Banu Taym ibn Ghalib. He had become a Muslim, and the apostle sent him to collect the poor tax in company with one of the Ansar. He had with him a freed slave who served him. He was a Muslim. When they halted, he ordered the latter to kill a goat for him and prepare some food, and went to sleep. When he woke up, the man had done nothing, so he attacked and killed him and apostatized. He had two singing girls, Fartana and her friend, who used to sing satirical songs about the apostle, so he ordered that they should be killed with him. Why did Muhammad sentence these girls to death? Because they sang songs making fun of him. What does this mean? It means you're burnt. He never had sex with any of his wives but his main one. Sahih al-Bukhari, 5068, narrated Anas, the Prophet used to go round, have sexual relations with, all his wives in one night, and he had nine wives. Burnt. He even married an old lady to prove that he is okay to marry anyone. He married a rich old lady to prove that it's okay to marry anyone? Is that what we conclude when we see a young man in his prime marrying a rich old lady? We conclude that he's trying to show the world that it's okay to marry anyone because most of us go the easier route of concluding that he's a gold digger. Well, those were the refutations. Galactic Plays said that 99% of the things we say about Muhammad are false. He only gave a few examples, but in each case, we were right and Galactic Plays was lying. Can you think of anyone in all of history whose followers are willing to lie about him like this? Muhammad's followers lie about him like it's a sport. No one in the history of humanity has followers who spend so much time lying about him. What does that tell us about the religion? What kind of religion causes its adherents to become compulsive liars whenever their prophet is mentioned? A true religion? Of course not. Satan is the father of lies. So if you want to find Satan, just follow the lies. 
Now, we've barely scratched the surface here, so if you want a more thorough introduction to history's most obvious false prophet, be sure to watch my video, Top 5 Most Disgusting Facts About Muhammad. Just make sure you're not eating, because it's about to get nasty in here.